Are you thinking about moving to Chester, Virginia? Well, in this video, I wanna educate you on an awesome neighborhood called Meadowville Landing. So let's go. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, please stop now, hit that bell button and subscribe now so I can alert you with more videos like this in the future. The cool thing about this neighborhood is a very big neighborhood. It's like four different parts. You have the state side, you have Twin Rivers, Mount Blanco and the villages. We're gonna go over all of that today in this video. But right here you can see and check out the view. It's a very nice area. To the left of me right here, you have the pool area and the clubhouse, which we're gonna take a closer look and we're gonna see what this whole neighborhood is about today. It's a lot to offer in this neighborhood and I wanna educate you guys on what's around here. Now these four areas that's in Meadowville Landing, the four different parts that's in Meadowville Landing, they all share this pool right behind me and the clubhouse. You have the clubhouse, you have your weight room and your, your exercise room at the bottom, and then you have the pool. A neat thing about um, this pool I like is you have a lifeguard that's always on duty and, you know, you feel a little comfortable sending your kids to the pool. Definitely they can swim. And they also have a swim team where they meet up with Rivers Bend, which is a neighborhood right down the street. If your kid's into swimming, they have a swim team in Rivers Bend. Now your school systems around here is Elizabeth Scott, Elizabeth Davis, and Thomasdale High School. Elizabeth Scott is the elementary school that's here for Meadowville Landing, and that's rated as a B plus, according to niche.com. And then you have the middle school, which is Elizabeth Davis, which is a B, and then you have Thomasdale High School, which is also a B. So just to give you an idea what the school system is looking like for this neighborhood, of course, you wanna do your own due diligence. Do your own due diligence when it comes to searching for a school system that fits your kid. Of course, we're in the Chesterfield School District area. And the thing I like about this area, you're only 15 minutes away from Fort Greg Adams, formerly known as Fort Lee, Virginia. Uh, which is good when people move to the area. Area they are they like this area because you can hit 295 and you're straight at Fort Gregg Items. And then also you have 295 North, which can take you right to uh, downtown area, Richmond area. And if you don't want to live in the city of Richmond, we're only 20 minutes away from downtown Richmond. So right behind me, you have a playground, which the kids can come to and play, have all this field that they can run around with as well. I have, I've seen some families come out here and fly a kite. Um, people who are getting married, they come take pictures uh, for the prom because the scenery is nice. You have like a little fountain over there, a little gazebo situation that's real nice. And the people love the scenery in this area. So if you're moving to Meadowville Landing, this is your location where you have your pool, your clubhouse, which you're gonna really enjoy. And the site out here is beautiful. Some people don't like HOAs. Um, one of the things about this neighborhood, they do have an HOA. One thing you can't do over here is have a wood fence, like a six foot privacy fence. You can have like the iron fence, um, just to let you know, because some people ask that question before they move in the neighborhood. Some people want that privacy fence. Over here, you cannot have a privacy fence, you can still have like uh, an iron fence um, wrapped around your yard, but you can't have a six foot wooded privacy fence over here in, in this neighborhood. Some of your things is right around here. We talked about Food Lion, that's the closest grocery store. Then you have your Wawa's around the street, your Sheets right across the street, which they are remodeling right now. CVS across the street, um, different eating spots, and other gas stations when you get closer to 295. So there are some gas stations that's very close by and 295 is very close when you're talking about you wanna hit the exit and go wherever you wanna go. And then, like I said, you have your food line, which is the closest grocery store. You have your, you know, your typical fast food places, your McDonald's, your Wendy's, your Burger King, that's real close. And your Taco Bell, can't leave Taco Bell out. That's a new place too. That's close by here. Um, several hotels that's close as well. Now, if you go to your right, to the west, that's where you can find your movie theater, your bowling, your skating, um, the winery, Ashton Creek, very nice winery, highly recommend. Same thing with the movie theater. I like the movie theater. My family and I, we really enjoy that. You can get there, you can order different food, sit back and watch a movie. Now let's talk about some of the restaurants that's right around the street. 
I mean, not even a mile down the street. You have your Caesars restaurant, which is an Italian place. They have pizza, subs, different Italian dishes in that place. You have jalapenos and you have El Caporel. Now, El Caporel, that's both of those places and jalapenos are Mexican restaurants and they have different uh, Mexican dishes in there. You have a place right across the street called Patty's. Um, that's a bar and grill as well. You have Chin's, which is a Chinese restaurant that sits a little bit to the east, not even a mile away. And you also have Narita. Narita is a Japanese place that serves you sushi. And then you also have the Tap House, which is a craft beer place that has food there. Then you have Rivers Beer and Grill, which is an American food based place where you have your hamburgers, your fried fish, your steak and different things like that. Some of your fast food places are Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. And I, I left out the Waffle House just in case 24 seven, which sits in that area as well. So it's plenty of places and many things that you can get some fast food or sit down restaurant that's very close to this area. Now let's talk about traffic. And once upon a time, Meadowville Landing, it was not a lot of traffic that was on the main strip once you turn out the neighborhood. It was very little traffic, it was like a country road. And then they started building more houses and made the area bigger. And then you have Amazon that moved into the area, built this big factory warehouse right around the street, they even made a little roundabout in the street. And then the Lego place, they're building Lego. Yes, Lego is building a place right now and they're changing the, the traffic pattern in the road. So traffic has gotten a little worse over here. It's not bad. Uh, around the holiday season, it can get really bad because of Amazon. But just to let you know that traffic can get a little bad sometimes, but if you're trying to be in the proximity or close by to the Amazon or to the Lego, this might be your neighborhood. The cool thing about the clubhouse, you can rent it out and have a little party or whatever you like. And then downstairs, you have your gym where you can work out. And of course, we know we're walking away from the pool, but let's go check out some more of the neighborhood. Still at the estate side, and right behind me, this home went for 850k. Um, it's on the market; it's pending. We don't know what it's going to sell for, but this gives you a good idea what's in Meadowville Landing on the estate side. 850k, uh, over 7,000 square foot, five bathrooms and seven bedrooms. Very nice home. I've been inside, but you have a different variety when it comes to the estate side. Now, this whole strip of homes right here on this side of the street is waterfront property sitting on the in front of the James River. Now, most of the houses, you can't see like the straight water because of the trees. Um, the trees are being reserved for the eagles. I'm looking at an eagle right now flying in front of me. So they wouldn't cut those trees down. But a lot of people created paths to the water so they can get to the water. But they did not cut the trees down uh, because of the eagle reserve and uh, this whole strip. 1 million plus um, 2021, they had a nice uh, situation going on where they had like four or five houses where you can go in and out and take a look when they were first developing this area. But we're still in Meadowville Landing, the estate side, very nice area when you're talking about waterfront property.
we are right down the street. One of the restaurants that I was telling you guys about is Caesars. Um, you definitely would like to try this restaurant if you're close to Meadowville Land. Very good food, different selections with the Italian dishes. I'll let you see what I'm going to get. Okay, the wind is picking up. I had to take a break. I got something to eat at Caesars, but the storm is coming. But I'm still gonna rock these videos out before the storm come. This one right behind me is under contract at 625K, uh, five bedrooms, five bathrooms, uh, roughly 3,500 square foot. This gives you a good idea what's going on in the village section. Now, these homes, as you can see, the yards are, are not as big. Um, big lots but the homes are still very nice right over here in Meadowville Landing. Like I said it's about to rain but we're gonna rock it out and we're gonna keep showing you some more homes right here in Meadowville Landing. We're still on the estate side and we finally got over the storm so man we had to wait and wait for this weather to clear up so I can keep showing you guys homes in Meadowville Landing. Right behind me you have a vacant lot that's been sitting for a while if someone wants to build. Now, everything that's on this trip is the, um, the original estate side, I always like to call it. And on the other side is water. So the water is on the other side. It's not like it's close, but it's still considered to be waterfront property. And you're still looking at that million dollar range, even in this section right here. That is, they're not as new as those first homes that I was showing you that's on the other estate side but still a very nice area. Um, these homes are a little older, but very unique. Got a lot of class, a lot of character to these homes. And the thing about these homes over here, they do not stay on the market long. Once these homes hits the market, definitely on the state side, I mean, really in this whole neighborhood, but definitely on the estate side, once the houses hits the market in this area, they usually go quick. So we are still in the estate side, we are at Channel View Terrace. Now this whole strip of homes right here is on the water. Most of the times you have the trees that's in the way, but if you look right behind me, you can see this is private property for the residents to go walk back to the water. Um, very nice street. You have quite a few streets in this neighborhood that's sitting on the water, right on the James. The location of this neighborhood and where it sits on the James River is very nice uh, for the for this. This is for the community but to have a private pier to come out here and just to go to walk down, see your boats riding by. I see a deer behind me. It was a very nice experience. Something that you can really look forward to if you decide to make the move to Meadowville Landing. The ambiance is very nice. Private pier, no trespassing, close that dock and all violators will be prosecuted. And this is for the community right here in Meadowville Landing. Now I'm gonna take you to the other side of Meadowville Landing, which is Mount Blanco. And they even have a little area where you can put, bring in your boat or your jet skis or whatever you wanna bring into the water. So let's go inside on the side of Mount Blanco. Okay, so now we're at Mount Blanco. Now Mount Blanco, houses over here can start in that mid $400,000 range. The price point is a little lower than on the other side. Let me give you a little history of Mount Blanco. It used to be Mount Blanco by itself, not Mount Blanco at Meadowville Landing. So they, they what happened is they really connected the neighborhood with Meadowville Landing. So that's why you call this Mount Blanco at Meadowville Landing. But yet and still, this is still a nice area. 
and they do have access to get to the water with um, this driveway right here. You can have a little miniature canoe or you can have your jet skis to go right down here in the water. Pretty cool. So now we're at the last stop at Twin Rivers. Now, Twin Rivers is unique. Uh, they have that one level living where most of your owner suites are on the first floor. Some of the houses have bonus rooms, but they do your yard work over here. It's included in your HOA. You have HH Hunt that's building over here and you still have Eastwood that's building as well. So as you can see behind me, they have homes that they're selling. They have many lots that's available. Now on the other side in Meadowville Landing, they do have lots that's for sale. But over here, you still have this whole neighborhood that, they, that they're still building in. So when I said there's no more homes to be built in that area, you can still build homes in Meadowville Landing because they do have some lots. But over here in Twin Rivers, they're building a lot with HH Hunt and Eastwood. Now your price point over this way, you're gonna be in that middle, mid $400,000 range plus. By the time you add your upgrade, you know how it goes. You're gonna be knocking on that $500,000 mark. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, even during the storm, but we made it. We reviewed and went over four different parts of Meadowville Landing. We was at the state side, we did the villages, we did Mount Blanco, and now we're at Twin Rivers. And you have many choices when it comes to Meadowville Landing. And I don't care if you're thinking about moving next week, next month, or next year. Please, please reach out to my team and I, because we would love to help you make that smooth move to Meadowville Landing.